All right, then. Uh, let's head now to the Volta region, where the National Disaster Management uh, Organization is raising against time to move residents in Keta and its surrounding community to safer grounds. With just five hours to what the Ghana Meteorological Agency predicts will be high tides with a devastating impact on the area. Uh, there are calls for immediate actions to be taken. So what's NADMO doing about this? We know that officials are already on the ground uh, and uh, authorities are also making moves to get many people out of danger. Joining us now is Ivy Amoga, uh, the acting Volta Regional NADMO Director. Thank you for spending some time with us. So uh, what exactly is happening within the Keta uh, Gaveji communities as we speak? Thank you for having me. Um, currently, upon the information that the Meteo have given us, uh, my men and then the DC and then other collaboration agencies are on the ground, actually educating people on the need for them to uh, move to stay with some of their families who are on higher ground. Uh, currently, the education has started first year for life. And uh, I just received an information from the Kentucky South Municipal Chief Executive and my men on the ground that a Red Cross promised to bring some uh, thanks for uh, erection at safe heaven for the people. And uh, they are on their way to Kentucky South currently. Uh, the NADMO officials are also still and ground sensitizing people that uh, this is the information we should seek from the uh, Meteo and then uh, we should anticipate uh, any mishap within this time frame. So currently, sensitization is what we are doing and uh, preparations are underway seriously Mm. Uh, now we know that uh, earlier on, uh, just about a, co a couple of weeks ago, when when this incident, a similar one happened, uh, you were making plans of resettling persons within the affected communities. Uh, will this be an add-on to that exercise, or you're running that separately as well? Um, that that program is a separate uh, program because uh, it's supposed to be a permanent structure that uh, the people will uh, live in for the rest of their lives. Uh, this uh, currently is just uh, an interim uh, um, situation that we are trying to manage. Hence the sense that we for uh, the people who are willing to be moved from their current places to live in for just this period of time, while we focus on the housing unit that is being built uh, permanently for them. But, but do we know about, in, in terms of the numbers, do we know how many residents now have been able to m move to safety? I mean, based on the reports that you're getting from the ground. Um, based on reports, we cannot uh, give you any figures because some are willing to move some are adamant, and some haven't uh, still decided. And in the case of Kugeme, uh, the people have been informed, a meeting has been conveyed, and then not more people have spoken with them. Uh, some replies were, uh, then they are ready for anything, because they are used, they are used to uh, such occurrences. So until uh, those who have agreed Move and then they, uh, some have made final decisions. We cannot give any figures as to how many people have moved. Well, uh, w what's accounting for, for that hesitation? Why is it that you don't, I mean, many of the people there are not, are not willing to, to move? Um, most of the time, they explain that uh, that is where they get their daily bread from, and uh, most of them are fish, fish are full. And uh, they are not willing to uh, leave the, the places because it's closer to the sea and then it makes their work much, much easier. Mm. So that's uh, one of the main reasons of them uh, not willing to leave. Right. Uh, we'll have to leave it here. Ivy and Melga joining us.
uh, live from the Volta region. She's the acting Nat Moore director there. Uh, let's speak to MC for the area, Maxwell Lugudo, who's uh, also joining us. Uh, thank you, sir, for your time. So uh, what's the grand plan? Really, it appears this is becoming a perennial problem, but I'm sure that at your um, level, uh, the local authorities are taking some actions to, to deal with, with this um, situation permanently. So what are you doing exactly? Yes, good afternoon, sir. Uh, actually, uh, when we had the, the, the information from the, the, the meteorological department, I quickly ran to the various areas, uh, the uh, Agaveji, Salakopa, Amutin, and Adina. I went there personally, and I quickly called the opinion leaders and assembly members, and we had a meeting uh, just for, to, for us to uh, let the people know that this is what is uh, about to happen. And uh, most of them, I, I, I really appreciate the response. They quickly inform the rest of the people that those who can move to the, 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 their families at the higher grounds, they started putting their things together. And uh, luckily for us, uh, uh, the Red Cross, they last came to us that they, they, they have some uh, the temporary uh, tents that they, we can fix. So the opinion leaders actually show us the place that we can fix those things. So those are the things we are quickly working on now. NADMO is reporting that many of the residents do not want to relocate. Um, that would therefore bring, bring forth the need for government um, uh, sea defence project, which, which is stalled for some time. Are you engaging the housing ministry on that as well? I, I can hear that. Yes, I, I'm talking about the reports we're getting from NADMO, indicating that residents are not willing to relocate so uh, there will definitely it, be a need. It's not that they are not willing. Right. It's not that they are not willing. Some, uh, 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 some of them, you realize that they are not even believing what we are saying. That uh, meteorological department is saying this. But those who understand and uh, they are they are uh, helping to educate people, uh, they are willing to to move. Yeah, but that that, that uh, notwithstanding, you... that's why I'm asking the question about the long-term solution we know that you, yeah, you, are, doing, you, are, doing, uh, you are doing for instance uh, that's what i said yeah, the sea, that, you are doing the sea, uh, just hold on for me sorry room. sorry sir just hold on for me the sea defense project for instance that you are doing in the area are you in, in talks with, with the housing ministry to try and get that project complete uh, the network is no good but if i'm if i can hear yes, you I'm well, talking about the completion uh, of the sea defense uh, project that, yes that's what, that's what the sea about. defense project yes. that's what i'm saying what we can do now for our people to put their heads on. That is what we are doing, the resettlement project. Hello, sir. Hello? Yes, you are on. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I, I can. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying, that we are, I, I, myself, we are focusing on the resettlement project. Uh, luckily for us, I said it sometime that uh, the Ghana gas uh, is approved uh, uh, two million Ghana series for us to start some two bedroom mm -hmm. house 15 units for, for, for the people, which we, we, we are about to start for the rain also setting. But as now, we are doing everything to send water and uh, electricity to the island for the project to start. But what as we had the information from the Meteorological uh, Service Department, what we can do for people if in case it happens now, that they can put their head on somewhere. That is what I went to discuss with the opinion leaders. Mm. Anyway, we'll have to leave it there. Uh, Max Olugudo, MC for Keta, uh, joining us. Uh, Ivy is also you, uh, on the ground, so what, uh, I mean, watching what's happening there uh, within Keta and its environs. So, Ivy, what can you report? Uh, well, actually, the residents, uh, we understand, uh, some of them or most of them wouldn't want to relocate. Uh, this issue uh, of them being there for a long time, you know, they are not ready to... Uh, move to the higher grounds now. They believe that today nothing will happen. So uh, according to the assemblyman uh, I spoke to earlier said uh, they are just there hoping that nothing will happen so they are not relocating or they are not moving in with relatives and friends for now hoping that this evening uh, nothing will happen or the report by the major agency uh, about the high tide may not happen. For the rest of uh, that, that is Ketu uh, uh, South, uh, Agaveji and the environment. But for the residents of Fuvemba too, some of them are able to move uh, to the neighboring communities because Fuvemba in particular is an island. Okay, so you have to cross the river 
before you get to the other town. So some of them are able to move, and then the rest are there, especially men uh, waiting uh, that uh, nothing happens and that they become safe. They are uh, only calling on government to do something quickly, only uh, about the state defense war. So I can uh, say that most people uh, are not uh, maybe ready to move uh, out. They are only hoping mm. that they are safe or nothing happens, or because most of the time they usually don't have uh, these serious casualties. So they are hoping that everything works well and then nothing happens for today. So right now, most people have not been able to move uh, to higher grounds or uh, relocate with families and friends. Uh, but from uh, my report, uh, the MC the, um, for Ketu South uh, and uh, around the Agavedi and then the uh, NADMO uh, are also on the ground with the uh, assemblyman for Amutinu. Mm. Uh, and and Ivy, when, when the MC came on, uh, he was uh, talking about the fact that they are providing some uh, shelter, uh, shelters, I mean temporary shelters for uh, persons yeah. who who may be displaced uh, or who are even moving away from, from that danger zone. So has that been provided as we speak? Yeah, so that's what they are on now. They are, they are trying to provide uh, some temporary uh, accommodation for them for now, just in case it, it happens so that they can move in quickly, uh, especially those who are willing uh, to move into those temporary structures. So for mm. now, that is all the MC and uh, the NADMO and other people who are working on as we speak. All so right, we are okay. just hoping that residents understand these things, uh, the urgency of this issue, and move into these temporary structures for now as maybe government uh, does something about their situation. All right then, uh, Ivy said so she's joining us uh, from the Volta region.